Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry Made Easy. The topic for today is Putty Wash Impression. Now this Putty Wash Impression, it is one of the impression making technique in fixed partial denture. So before starting with the main topic, I just want to mention about the Dentistry Made Easy books which are now available. So basically these books are nothing but like the notes which I made into a textbook digitally. The references for this fixed partial dentures are so Rosenstein, then Schellingberg's, then the main common books that we are using is Deepak Nallaswamy and Rangarajan. So these are like the references for the particular book that is fixed partial denture. Now over here you can see how the book it looks like. So it is like available in a simpler form with more flowcharts, diagrams and more in a colorful form. It's not always possible for each and everyone to copy out the same thing in your books and to make notes out of it. So for that reason only I made this book. Now over here also you will find this impression technique. So over here now you can see. So you have this impression making. So now this thing is already available in the form of notes directly so that you don't need to just like jot out the things which I am teaching in the videos. So this videos they are for your learning process but for your exams and for the writing or the notes process you have this books which are already available. For the buying process you can like contact me through the links which are provided in the description box. Now starting with the main topic that is our putty wash impression. Now as I said this putty wash impression it is one of the impression making technique in fixed partial denture. So now in this putty wash impression what you are doing is you are making the primary impression with the help of a stock tray. So stock trays they are nothing but the ones which are already available in the market in various forms or various sizes you can say depending on the jaw size. So basically over here what you do is you make primary impression and you make final impression. So primary impression is with the stock trays and final impression is by using this primary impression in the form of a custom tray. Now there are two methods of this putty wash impression that is a double mix or a single mix. So what is the indication of this putty wash impression? So this putty wash impression it is used in most of the clinical situation where you are using the heavy bodied and the light body impression material or the elastomeric material. Now what are the advantages? Now in this the advantages are now as we are using the stock tray. So the trays they are readily available and the next one is now this trays that you are using are the metal trays. Now as they are rigid they do not distort so this is an advantage for this that their material is of metal and they do not distort. Now disadvantage is now as they are made up of so they are the stock trays so you need to sterilize them. So this is the disadvantage and the next one is more impression material is required for this particular impression technique. Now going to start with the double mix technique. Now in this first what we are going to do is first we are going to select the suitable stock tray. So depending on the size of the jaw. So whether it is U1, U2, U3, U4 or even sometimes it can be U0 in which the jaw size is too small. So depending on that first you are going to select your stock tray. And after that what you are going to do is now the stock tray that you are using are the perforated one. So the perforated basically helps so that your material it like seeps out of this perforation and it helps in the locking of the material. So these are the stock trays which are the perforated metal ones and they are available in various sizes. So over here this is a U4 that means it is the number 4 upper jaw tray. Here it is L1 that means it is a lower jaw number 1 tray. This is U2. U means upper, L means lower and they are available from sizes 0 to 4. Now the next step in this is you are going to apply the tray adhesive over this tray. So now you have selected whichever tray it is. So for example you have selected tray U2 for the upper jaw. And after this what you are going to do is you are going to apply the tray adhesive so that your material it sticks well to that tray. So adhesive is nothing but your material it should adhere well to the tray. The next is now you are going to mix the putty material. So now this putty material it is available as a base and a catalyst. So you are going to take the equal amount of base and catalyst and then you are going to form it into a rope form like mixing it well together and you are going to load it onto the selected tray. So this is how your putty material it looks like. Now over here it is available as a base and a catalyst. So this is a normal set putty material as you can see it is written over here. 
so with the help of this scoops you're going to take proper amount of material and then you're going to mix this base and catalyst and you're going to form a uniform rope and you're going to load it onto the tray so over here this catalyst it is a white color one and the base it is like a mangoish yellow color so when you are mixing it properly you will see that the color of this material over here it is light yellowish that means it is mixed very well and properly now over here what we are going to do is now we are going to like place a spacer material over this putty material now why because now we now in this now as it is a double mix so in this we are going to take impression twice so first is your primary impression with the help of the stock tray so obviously now you're going to make a final impression if you are saying so so for this final impression thing you need some space so to accommodate that final impression material you're going to apply a polythene or a cellophane sheet over this putty material so this is like a cellophane sheet that you're applying over it so that you're giving space for your final impression material so you're going to place this tray into the patient's mouth and you're going to make the impression so after the material it sets you're going to remove the tray with the material carefully and you're going to remove that spacer which you have applied over it and then you're going to like upload the next material that is your final impression material that is nothing but a light body material so first in the primary impression you're using a medium or a heavy body material and then for the final impression you're going to use the light body material light body elastomeric material so this light body material it is syringed over the putty impressions and you are also going to like apply this material over your prepared tooth now this is a fixed partial denture so you have done the tooth preparation over this so you are going to apply this material that is your light body material over the tooth preparation and also on your putty material impression which you have taken and then again you are going to take the impression that is nothing but your final impression so this like light body material is basically used so that you can accurately like record the details of the teeth so this is the light body impression material elastomeric impression material which is used as a final impression material so you are going to syringe this final impression material that is your light body over the putty impression that you have taken as the primary impression now this is the impression gun with which you are going to like syringe the material light body material over your putty material so over here this is the trigger this is the cartridge which contains your base and catalyst are mixed in the spiral mixing tip and you're going to apply this material onto the tooth and the putty impression with the help of that intra oral tip so in this you're going to select the stock tray then you're going to apply the adhesive then you're going to like apply the putty material in a form of a rope on that tray then you're going to apply a spacer material onto that tray you're going to take the impression and after taking that impression you're going to peel off that spacer then you're going to apply the light body material or light body material it is syringed over the putty impression which you have taken and also over the prepared tooth and then again you're going to take your final impression so that the accurate details they are recorded so this was about the double mix one so double mix now we have seen so first you are taking the primary impression and then you're going to take the final impression now single mix is basically when you use both of this material that is your heavy body and the light body material simultaneously so in this single mix first you're going to load the putty material as we are doing it over here but now in this what we are doing in the double mix is we take the impression but now in this single mix you don't take the impression instead you directly syringe that light body material over the putty material and then you are taking the impression at once so you don't take impression twice but you take the impression only once and in this there is no need of spacer why because now you are applying this or you are like using the light body material directly over the putty material in one go so this is about the single mix putty wash impression so this was all about the putty wash impression i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much